Thanks for joining me. You see the before and after of this portrait. The before, there is a lot of distortion on the surface around his face, and there was a previous restoration. You can see a few patches, particularly to the right of his eyes there, and an overall discoloration. This is the original backing, the original keys, and the stretcher bar. The backing was peeling off and it was very dirty overall, so I just continued peeling that. And then I had to scrape off the back surface to make it level. And you can see all the dust and dirt that had accumulated at the, at the corners of the portrait there. I cleaned off the back and the front, of course. I did reline the backing with Eva and G10 for a rigid su support. And then I started the cleaning process. I tested the corner and a bit of his face to see what product would clean this discoloration off. I had originally thought the discoloration was some kind of a combination of nicotine and soot based on the fact that it had lived above a fireplace and in the house of smokers for a really long time. But it turns out that any of that kind of damage had been taken care of by the previous restoration whenever that happened at some point in history. And the solution for the portrait now was denatured alcohol. The denatured alcohol took this grimy layer off, and it was a really thick grime. My guess is it's a shellac, and you can see at normal speed just how methodical I'm trying to be. So all that that is coming up on the cotton is this shellac. You can see some bloom happening along the edges of the portrait there, those white streaks. That's just from a little bit of a heavy hand of denatured alcohol and it getting kind of stuck under the shellac. At least that's my best guess. So it created this white bloom. It just required a few extra layers of cleaning and it came up really nicely. Seeing the transformation of the face and the white parts of his collar and shirt were incredibly satisfying. And he's got nice blue eyes. And anytime I put that denatured alcohol, you can see how rich the colors are when it's in that kind of wet state. So while it dries, it kind of leaves a dull finish on the oil paint, which is totally normal. When I put the varnish on towards the end, it really makes those colors pop one more time. So this whole cleaning process took about three hours. You can see there's a loss on the left hand side of the screen there. I actually had to chip that away from the front as well as the back before I lined it because it was so thick. That was part of the previous restoration. There are a few patches overall and some in painting that had previously been done. So after this surface gets completely cleaned, I refilled all these missing places and old patches with a white Fluger product.
you can see that bloom again towards the bottom and the left in particular. Some of that is some little pieces of cotton that got stuck in the very sticky shellac, but most of that is just bloom. Alright, here's a nice before and after of all that yellow shellac discoloration. And here it is cleaned. You can see the patches. You can see the losses here and there. And now you can see I filled them in with Fluger. And all these little spots were in-painted and there were some spots that were retouched with the conservation grade reversible paint. The varnish I use here is a 50-50 half gloss, half matte, um, archival quality UV protectant varnish. And now I'm just applying that over the entire cleaned surface here, and that really brings out the vibrant colors and helps protect the painting. You can see a lot of the places where I in-painted and some of those previous patches and I couldn't mask those completely, but that's okay. It's just a part of the painting's history. When I did reattach it to the stretcher bars, I was able to use all the old tacks and put in the old keys again. So here's the backing. You can see that new linen. And I have it attached to the frame. There's the new hardware. And for the, the frame, it's a nice old gold frame. I put some gilt cream on all these raised gold bits of the frame and buffed it in to give it a nice clean and overall new look and overall I'm really pleased I think it turned out absolutely lovely it's much flatter and that discoloration is gone thanks for watching